Formula Drift, Long Beach, round one at Mickey's house right now, getting on the road, and I think we're gonna be meeting up with everyone on the road. FD, round one, Long Beach, here we go. So I've seen this thing around too. This thing is crazy. I mean, not only is the Corolla sick, but like, look at this. That is insane. Very cool. Good job on this. Here's a VR4. This is what our VR4 could look like. This has the 99 front end, big front mount. Um, lots of really cool stuff under the hood here. A uh, little catch can set up. Fully polished intake manifold makes a big difference for sure. This is on some Volk wheels. It's like stock calipers, but upgraded rotors. Nice side skirts with the white Volks. Dang. Ooh, this one's got the yellow Recaros too. TE's a good choice. Got a Rico's twin supercharged E12 Ferrari. Catching on fire. Major issue there. Oh, no. Please keep your distance from the vehicle. Thank you to Calpo for reacting quickly. Definitely some interesting things going on there, Jared, as we try to go back to the replay and see exactly what happened there. He basically really didn't initiate and was as if he was just driving straight. We lost him out of the camera angle for a second, and then we came back to him and the vehicle was on fire. He had got out of the vehicle safely with his door uh, really close to that concrete barricade there. He was able to get out without a, a problem, but something ignited there and it, it made... Twin charge Ferrari just lit on fire. Hopefully everyone is okay. Oh my God. All right, so we are now in like the VIP booths or whatever, and you can see the front of the Ferrari is right over there. You can kind of barely see it with all the people but there's the tow truck coming in. Dang, if we were here, if we were in this spot, we would have seen the whole thing happen. No! What an event, again, kicking off 15 years of the Formula Drift Championship. The streets of Long Beach, they claimed some victims, including a Ferrari uh, burnt up, and you know, I, I know Federico, I, I heard the story about it, him coming to tears, and Andy, uh, who actually does have a heart, surprisingly, he uh, told him to look at all the fans, all the fans are supporting him, but my hat tip to all the hardworking teams, staff, drivers there's so many moving parts and components to overall of the formula drift family and all the events and uh just again starting the 15th season we have a lot more gray hairs and my kids are getting bigger everybody's kids are getting oh there's kids let's just be that we started being kids just doing the sport i, I don't think drifting's a fad i don't think it's going anywhere so uh, thanks for being part of the fabric of formula drift let's give out some trophies here round one of the formula drift black magic pro championship this is the o'reilly auto park streets of long beach presented by permatex all right, you ready to give out third place trophy? Yeah. Supposed to hand it to me, AJ. You're supposed to be over here, kiddo. Get caught slipping, homeboy. First day on the job. I remember my first event. All right, third place here. Do you want some candy, young boy? The candy man. The Word House Drift Team Falcon Tires S15 Silvia from Poland. Peter Vincent.
Anita, I always joke that you're like a character out of Willy Wonka, but uh, they're gonna hear your voice right now and they might just agree with me. But I, I, man, number one qualifier, third place, just a bit outside, you and James Dean, one and two, but how does it feel, again, you, you, you know, you finish the season winning at Irwindale, iconic track, a place you've always dreamed of drifting. I've seen you spectate there, but now you're here at Long Beach, number one qualifier, and you're on the podium. It's a great way to start. Oh, man, thank you very much. Yeah, and by the way, like, we really won't come into Polish acting, so that's, you know, a different thing. <laughs> yeah, and it was, oh, it is so, so great to be here. You know, I remember standing there and watching James getting, like, taking the first place. Uh, award and I was like delighted and I dream about to be here also. I'm on third place. Before the event, if somebody will tell me that I will be here standing on this podium, I will be like, no way, no way, that, that's not happening. But it happens and I'm, I cannot wait for the next round. I'm very excited that I can be here. Uh, thank you for my sponsors for making the opportunity, oppor this opportunity for me for that I can drive here. And yeah, thank you for all the support. Thank you, thank you very much. I was, I hear you in the car already, so you are great, thank you so much. Thank, big thanks to the whole our crew. Big thanks to Gelo, James, uh, G Garage, everybody here. Simply, I cannot uh, even remember everybody. Thank you for Michael for spotting for us. Everybody, you are amazing, guys. Really. Woo. Congratulations, we'll see you in Orlando, my boy. All right, next up. After a year hiatus, after a year hiatus, uh, I think I think just his strategy, his team, and he's got some valuable people on his team that just give him a wealth of knowledge. He surrounded himself with some fantastic people. And proof is in the pudding. So after a year hiatus, it's great to see him back here on the podium. This is the best finish he's ever had. He has four third place finishes. This is first ever second. I know he wants to get one higher on the box, but welcome back, the Victasia. Achilles Radio Energy Innovation, let's get nuts laboratory. Forrest Wang, second place. digits as far as wins multiple podiums but he's got a new car part of the toyota racing family they debuted it i don't know how they kept it in a for so long but uh, brought it out in grand fashion freshman season for this vehicle former formula champion is this a shape of things to come we'll find out your winner here the rockstar energy drink next entire toyota corolla it is frederick the norwegian hammer Congratulations, Hugs. There's your trophy, my friend. And uh, grab some photos. Why don't you look at Larry here and get your photos. There you go. Look at Larry. There is the signature photo by Larry Chen. And we'll grab some words with Osbo. Good, Larry. All right. Osbo, here you are again. Just, uh, just very... You know, that, that's aggressive to build a car. I mean, your, your IM was proven, your TC was proven, all these vehicles. You work with Papadakis Racing, who's just a four-cylinder genius. He's a scientist. He's an architect. And uh, to debut this car and take it to the top for Toyota Racing and Toyota, it's got to feel pretty rad. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, where do I start? This this is all on the team. I've been, I've been watching them from the sidelines. They weren't able to talk about the car. It got delivered here in Hawthorne, California, three months ago as a prototype. And... The guy's been working tirelessly, trying to build the best car they could. And 
frankly, going in here, going into this event, watching what all these guys are doing, you know, Peter, Forrest coming back, I had, I, I couldn't even dream of trying to win here with a brand new car. So this is, uh, this is for uh, all the guys that have believed in me, to Toyota, to the team, and to all of you guys that came out today. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. There you are. Thank you. There you go. I broke it. Just like chair. All right, got some more photos there. <clears throat> One more. And one more selfie, here we go, ready? <laughs> okay, congratulations to our podium finishes, O'Reilly Auto Park Streets of Long Beach, presented by Permatex, round one of the Black Blackmax Pro Championship. Let's get some champagne. <laughs> D Long Beach done. That's it. That was awesome. Congrats to Osbo. I think we're going out tonight. Not too sure how much I'm gonna be vlogging, so <laughs> <Woo! maybe. laughs>